Some of the most popular mesh-tastic devices are these Helltech V3s. You can buy them anywhere. You can get them on eBay, on Amazon, several other websites. They are small, lightweight, inexpensive. They come with their own screen. Most of the time, you can get them as an option with this little pocket case that comes with its own antenna and is powered via USB-C. Doesn't, ha doesn't have enough room in here for a battery. So what options do we have besides this little rinky-dink thing? Something that can maybe give us a bigger antenna, a bigger battery, battery, more robustness, more versatility, and where we carry it around. We're going to talk about that right now. This is a case I picked up from Etsy. Now, again, as I've said, I said on my live stream earlier this month, and I've said a couple other places, if you go search eBay, Amazon, AliExpress, uh, Alibaba, I think, uh, Banggood has some stuff, Teemu has some stuff. If you search any of these places for just the, the term Mesh-tastic, you're going to find all kinds of stuff. You're going to find cases, 3D printed files, Printables has a lot of stuff for 3D printed files, Thingverse, and a couple of the other websites as well. But you can find this stuff kind of everywhere. I have an Amazon list that I'll link below that has several of these Helltech V3 boards, and I think this is a good starting point. At first, I thought this case was a great idea because you just put it in your pocket and go. It's got a, it comes with a little port here to have an antenna on it, an internal. It's all in, inclusive. You take this case apart, you put the uh, the board in it. The screen shows right there in the uh, the clear view window there, and there's an antenna in it, and that's great. The problem is that there's no room in this case for battery, so you have to power it via the USB port connected to something so you're carrying something else so this is not self-sustaining this is not self-inclusive because it has no room in here for batteries so you have to power it with an external battery source well i found one spot on etsy now i bought a couple things on etsy you're going to be seeing some videos about them upcoming i picked this one up the other day and this is coming from sculpt studio shop over on Etsy. It's called a Geolink case for the Helltech V3 running Mesh-tastic uh, EU or USA. Just depends on which one you've got. I got this right here. There's a little video about it. I have mine right here. And at first, I really when I got this case in the mail, I really liked it. But now I'm not so convinced that it's really what I want. And here's, here's why. I'll show you why right here. Okay, so first of all, it comes with an 18650 battery. My experience is, has been that these little pillow batteries, like this guy right here, these led, what, this is what T.O. called a LifePo 4 pillow battery. <laughs> it's kind of kind of neat. 3,000 milliamp hours. These tend to last longer than some of the cheap 18650s you get. So this came with an 18650 case, just like this, and it came with bare wires on the end. I just spliced. Now, one thing about these cases is, I'm sorry, one thing about these, they come with riser uh, boards, a couple of riser boards, and a bare wire connector with a plug on it that goes into the end of the Helltech. Okay, cool, good deal. I don't usually use that because I usually use the some other form of case, but I took that connector, spliced it into this wire, did a very crude job just for this video, and then that will run from the 18650, we're gonna put it in. Okay, it comes with its own SMA connector, so the good cases you want are gonna be the ones with SMA connectors in my opinion, because you can get an S, this is an SMA connector right here, you can get small antennas like this. You can get a larger antenna like a TB antenna right here that folds. So you can kind of set it down on the desk like that, or you can stand it upright like that. You always want your antenna to be vertical, a vertical antenna for 900 megahertz FM and 900 megahertz uh, LoRa is going to be better than a horizontal antenna. It's going to get you better range than a horizontal single di what's called a single dipole antenna if you want to use a horizontal yagi or something like that that's very directional it's going to get you a, a longer range that's cool we're not talking about that today maybe i'll do that in another video but most of the time you're going to want this antenna that comes with the case pointed up you're going to want this antenna pointed vertically and not laying on the table uh laying down on the table it'll still work it won't hurt anything but you're going to get better range if it's vertically pointed up so it has this sma on the case right here it came like this it comes with the the little ipx connector on the uh, the coax there that connects straight into the board and that's what we're going to do with it right now i'm going to connect it to this ipx connector on the board okay so got that connected on the board and it looks like this just sits here just like that, got the USB-C out the bottom there. Good deal, okay. Now this 18650 goes in like this. I don't think it matters which way it goes up or down. It just kind of pops in the side there. 
I'll make sure it doesn't impede my antenna right there. Make sure that fish is around there fine. There we go. Okay. Now this guy connects to the underside of this board right there. Okay, just like that. And then this kind of, and you've got these uh, plenty of room around this to where you don't want to put it down in here with the uh, with it sitting on the coax where it's going to pinch the coax or something. The coax where the battery leads either one. The coax or the battery leads either one. You want to make sure that they're not impeded by where you're putting this thing. Okay, just like that. And now we're going to put the battery in it. In fact, I want to put the antenna on first. It's possible to hurt the radio if you power it up and it starts transmitting if you don't have an antenna attached. So you want to make sure your antenna is attached before you actually put power to this thing and power it up. Now, I'm going to use one of these spare 18650s I've got laying around here somewhere. This is a 18650 battery that I got from Amazon. It claims that it's 9900 milliamp hours. There's no way that's true. There's no way that's true. I'm told, these are just some cheapy Amazon ones. I'm told that the best ones to get are these Samsung or Panasonic ones that are these green color. I found some Samsungs on Amazon. I haven't found any Panasonic ones yet. And this one came at the rack wireless device that I did a video about a while back. So I don't know if that's better or not, but a couple of people have said that this is the one I should use and not get the off brand. So I don't know, we'll see. But I have these, I'm gonna use this right now. It'll be fine for what we're doing today. I've got all this stuff put in here, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the battery in and let this boot up. Put this in here. All right, you see it booting up right there. It's booting up with Helltech Automation. And then I'm going to put this on right here. Now, if you like this case, I will link it below. If you want some sort of other case for your any of your Mesh-tastic devices, head over to PCBWay.com. They are sponsoring this video. You can upload ST files and other types of 3D printed files straight to them. Get them printed. Get them shipped straight to your door. And get them on a lot of different varieties, different types of filament rather than just PLA. I don't know much about 3D printing. I've done a little bit. But, you know, I don't keep a lot of colors or different types of filament in my possession. So if I want something quick and professional grade, somebody that's got a lot more experience than I do, PCBWay.com is where I get that done. They're sponsoring this video. So if you order from them, make sure to thank them for their sponsorship of this series. And I'm going to get some stuff printed from them and make another video later on. But this one right here, this is this is done pretty well. I like the fact that it has this carrying loop here. You can put a carabiner or a, or a lanyard or something around it. It comes with this short little antenna. You can put an external antenna on it with the SMA connector. Uh, these buttons work very well. I can press the button here and it'll turn that off and that reboots it. That's the selector button right there. You can go through and do different stuff with that. And then, of course, you have your USB-C on the bottom right there. You can power it up. You can uh, charge the battery via USB-C. Put it on the charger at night. Let it run all day. See how long it runs. I'm curious to see how long this 18650 will run this device for because the 18650 in my T-Beam, this is a T-Beam right here. I have an 18650 in my T-Beam that's running my truck, but the T-Beam comes with GPS built in. So the battery is not only running the LoRa radio, but it's running the GPS radio as well. This one here is just the, the Heltex do not have GPS built in. You can add them on later if you want to, but this will just be running an 18650 with just the LoRa radio, no GPS. So I'm hoping that it makes the battery last a little bit longer because my experience has been that these pillow batteries last longer than the 18650s running basically the same kind of, of item. The only difference is that the T-Beam does, does have GPS, so we'll see. But let me know what you guys think about this. Do you have this? case do you have another case i found a couple of cool cases on ebay i ordered them i got them in i'm like those are cool i put them down somewhere in my house and they'll turn up they're around here somewhere i don't know but i like getting the health the health tech is probably the easiest it's probably the simplest and most inexpensive board to start with if you're starting in mesh tastic it's powered by USB C. it's got that little connector in the back for an external battery and then all of these different case there's a lot of different options for cases for this thing so it's great because you can get cases that have external antennas. If you get an external antenna, a larger antenna, something like a bendable antenna like this, 
like that right there. Or if you get an external antenna to put on your vehicle, some sort of mag mount, it's going to extend your range greatly. So it's always good to have options for the antenna. Let me know what case you're using. If you're using the Heltec V3, let me know where you get your cases from, where you found it, and uh, maybe I'll pick up something else in the future. 73, if you guys like this video, check out these videos. More about Meshtastic right over here. 73, everyone have a good day.